That's it, they're ready, they're off. They're racing for the daily charged up offers at rhino.bet, National Hunt Novices Hurdle. Heading to the first of eight flights, and first to begin is Eclair Denae in the yellow jacket. With the white cheek pieces racing towards the inner, Arctic Breeze a little deeper in the pink and white, and Hero in the two shades of blue is settled at the back of the field, all safely negotiating flight number one. So quite a long run before they leave the ground at the first of two flights in the home straight. Flight number two, and Eclair Denae is opened up by about four or five lengths. For Harry Skelton, Harry on the 86 winner mark this season. Leads up to Arctic Breeze and Adam Wedge racing in second. Adam's on the 47 winner mark. And Hero at the back of the three-runner field for Sean Bowen. Sean has ridden 116 winners so far this season. And his trainer, Ollie Murphy, has 13 wins in the last couple of weeks. So yard in red-hot form. But the leader is Eclair Denet as they leave the back stretch. They're into the home straight and heading down towards flight number two. Eclair Denae then by about six to Arctic Breeze Racing second and Hero at the back of the three-runner field. Closing in on the second flight of hurdles, just going a steady gallop up front here, Eclair Denae. Racing with his ears pricked, seems to be enjoying himself out in front as they approach the second flight. At it now, Eclair Denae leaps nicely, gets away by about four to Arctic Breeze who also took it well. Just clipping the top of it back in third was Hero. Here's the flight which will be the last next time then, flight number three. And a mistake by Hero, who pitched on landing there, just scooped off the floor by Sean Bowen. Good sit by him. They head up to the winning post then, just over a circuit to travel in this daily. Charged up offers at rhino.bet, National Hunt Novices Hurdle. And Eclair Denae, who has three wins from 16 starts, all told, will lead past us with a circuit left to travel. Leads up by three lengths to Arctic Breeze, who has yet to win under rules, but he did win a point-to-point -point in Ireland in February of last year. Hero, the back marker. He was second in a bumper on his debut, but he's been beaten over 40 lengths on each of his last two starts. He's at the back of the three-runner field as the leader, Eclair Denae, takes the turn and head towards the far side of the track. There are three flights of hurdles awaiting them over there. Next up is flight number four, which is right opposite the grandstand. Eclair Denae turns towards it with a lead of five to Arctic Breeze racing in second. Nice leap by the leader. Arctic Breeze over in second and Hero at the back of the field. They're right opposite the grandstands now. They're about to take the middle flight in the back stretch, which is flight number five of the eight that they'll take in total. And Eclair Denae has gone further clear. He's in front by eight to ten lengths now as they reach this flight. Jumps it nicely. Arctic Breeze over in second. Hero just squeezed for a stride or two in third by Sean Bowen. They're passing their point of departure. And they're heading off towards flight number six. This will be the third last flight of hurdles. And Eclair Denae continues to race with his ears pricked. And he continues to hurdle fluently, leading by 10 to 12 to Arctic Breeze. A reminder for Hero at the back of the three-runner field. And Eclair Denae continues to coast up front as they go to the end of the back stretch. And Harry Skelton's already having a look round. And he's gone on by the best part of 15 lengths. Hero is taken second. Arctic Breeze is back in third. As Eclair Denae leaves the back stretch behind them and starts the right-handed turn. Hero is trying to make an effort to close, and he is closing a little bit. He's gone to within about 10 to 12 lengths of the leader. So off the turn then, Eclair Denae will lead into the home straight for Harry Skelton. Eclair Denae in the first time cheek pieces. Harry has another peep behind. Hero has got 10 to 12 lengths to find in second, and a similar margin back to Arctic Breeze in third as down the straight they come towards the second last flight of hurdles. Eclair Denae hasn't uh, engaged top gear yet. In fact, he's not come out of second gear yet. Down towards the second last. Jumps well again. Gets away quickly. Hero now has 15 to find in second. He's over okay. Arctic Breeze in third. Here's the final flight. Eclair Denae at the last. Jumps it as well as everything else and gets away quickly and leads by 15 to 20. So inside the final furlong they come. A lovely round of jumping from Eclair Denae and he's put his rivals to the sword in no uncertain style. Eclair Denae will make it three, uh, four wins from 17 starts and it's going to be 87 for the season for Harry Skelton. Eclair Denae goes on to coast home. It's going to be tight for second. Arctic Breeze is finishing well on the outside of Hero and gets up for second. Hero back in third. Harry Skelton had a nice armchair ride in the first of the betting suggested. Congratulations, Harry. What did we learn from that performance today? <laughs> Not a lot, probably, um, that the horse is in good health. Um, so, yeah, obviously this time of year it's a funny uh, time of year for horses to be losing their maiden tags, but um, he's an experienced chaser, so um, good place in my down. Yeah, would the red rum at Aintree be on the agenda or something similar? Um, he's getting a bit older now. Um, 
I think probably we'll look for another novice hurdle somewhere, probably under a penalty. Right. And then beyond that, back over fences? Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll just see what happens. To be honest, he loves this ground and he hasn't. <laughs> it's, it's been an odd winter, hasn't it? And hasn't really got it all winter. And now it's suddenly rained that he's enjoying it. So yeah. um, we'll just see. Yeah. Sometimes funny asking a winning jockey, especially that wins so easily about the ground. But what do, was your thought on the ground out there? Yeah, I do think it is soft. It's getting right into the ground, yeah. you know, so it'd be hard enough work, I'd say. But he loves that. You're in the John Hill colours. You're against John Hill's horse, uh, Grandad Scottish, on your brother's Viva La Vila later on. You're just telling me there, are you concerned to what extent about the ground for that horse? Yeah, I'd have to just see how it is. Um, he'd probably, we've just been waiting for a bit better, so we'll just see. And what about the cheek pieces first time for that, if he were on the ground? How much do you think that could improve him? Yeah, I'd like to just hope they just sharpen his mind up a little bit. Yeah. Um, he's just sort of lost concentration a couple of times, yeah. um, but hopefully they'll just help him a little bit, yeah, keep his concentration. Yeah. And we're in the area of the era of the spring festivals. Any update on Lamilos or any other horses like that? Yeah, Lamilos, uh, he, he had a school this morning at home. He's in real good form, um, come on a lot since his run at Kelso. Um, and, and the other horses, yeah, they're in good form. The horses are, um, you know, well. So, no, we're looking forward to entry. Yeah. And a jockey like you, I mean, you two rides on a day like this. It's the climate we're in, isn't it, Harry? Just uh, 42 runners declared. It's just, you just got to get through this phase and hope it picks up again. Yeah, exactly. Look, it, you know, it's, um, I'm in a fortunate position. I've got a big stable behind me. But for any jockey, it's hard traveling around the country just sometimes for one ride. Um, you know, people get sucked into, oh, he's gone there for one ride. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice job, of course, when you're winning, but um, there's no luxury in just driving around for one ride, um, yeah. you know, for any jockeys. So yeah. um, it's what we do, it's what we've got to do, and we get up and get on with it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, obviously, um, they've obviously had a lot of, r lot of runners in, in the last couple of weeks with the rain starting to come, but obviously now with maiden hurdles, novice hurdles, it's uh, it'd be thin on the ground, I'd have thought, because it's a difficult time, you know, because you don't really want to be losing your novice status at this time of year when you can wait and you'll be a full novice for the following season. So um, trainers will just be playing smart. Absolutely, understood. Always nice to catch up with you, and we, we do appreciate you coming out in the rain. Yeah, no worries. Thank you very Thanks, much. Harry. Cheers. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.